Rick and Morty just premiered the first episode of its Japanese anime series, so I'm gonna try and break down how the show came to be, and what exactly this weird storyline was with Morty and his new girlfriend, and for some reason also his new boyfriend. My name is Deep Cut, hit that subscribe button, and I promise I'm just as confused as you are, maybe even a bit more so, but I have some answers. Rick and Morty has had seven seasons of its actual show now, but for some reason, this year we got a spin-off series in an anime style that is 10 episodes long. This was a bit surreal to see, not gonna lie, but apparently there was already a few animated shorts in the style that came out a few years ago that led to Adult Swim wanting to make this an actual full season. The anime appears to be taking a more serialized approach to its story, with the introduction of at least one new character, Elle, who appears not just in this episode, but as an important part of the opening theme as well. This indicates she will be an important part of all 10 episodes, with this really just being her introduction, though it's hard to say if Frank will recur in the same way, or if he is something of a one-off joke. The anime premiere started off rather slow, which is more common for anime than western animation, especially with rig-based animation that Rick and Morty uses, allowing the characters to move around a lot more without having to draw every single frame. The show is not written or dubbed by the original crew, and it definitely lacks the punchy writing that Rick and Morty is actually known for. The humor in particular just isn't landing for me, but the show definitely becomes more interesting with what it sets up for its main plot with Morty and Elle. The first half of the episode focused largely on Rick getting a decoy of him taken in by the Galactic Federation, who are upset with him because he has an entropy bomb that can make time move backwards. Morty, meanwhile, is playing a virtual reality game where he suddenly begins to witness and experience multiple timelines. This game is similar to Roy from the original series, where anyone who plays can experience an entire world of opportunity with the blank slate of the character Roy. The big difference here is that this game has sci-fi elements, so Morty thinks everything that happens in the game is part of a story that Rick made. It starts with him just trying to escape some lizard monster, but as he runs away, he sees another version of himself running from another lizard monster. One version of Morty ends up meeting a Rick, a Rick with longer hair, a Rick who doesn't appear to be part of the actual game. He claims that his Morty, and seemingly a lot of other Mortys like ours, have been sucked into a reality merging event which is overlapping with the game. This means the Mortys in the games are experiencing a bunch of simultaneously affected realities merging into each other, but also that, even if we don't see it yet, the same thing is happening outside of the game, something this Rick explicitly explains. In the game, we suddenly get several stories involving different Mortys that are rather difficult to untangle from each other. The key figure in these is the new character Elle, a woman who is in love with Morty and who immediately talks about recognizing him and immediately talks about how she knows him well. Morty assumes that this is a feature his grandpa programmed into the game, but as the other long-haired Rick had explained, this seems to be bleeding over from some alternate timelines. Elle then appears to be a real entity who can control time or can at least travel through it, as one version of her explains to one of the Mortys. However, Elle seems to not be the only one affecting these timelines, as in some timelines we don't just see Elle or this other Rick, but also a character named Frank. Elle appears in the opening credits quite a bit, as I said, and a latter episode is even titled Elle the Alien, so we know she recurs within the show, as well as the long-haired Rick, but this character Frank is a bit of a mystery. The different Elles and Franks seem to be taking Morty on a series of different timelines, allowing him to see different versions of himself that he is capable of becoming. Frank shows Morty what his life would be like as a successful politician by leading him through everything, and in another world, he allows Morty to experience certain lows by allowing him to make choices for himself, which ends with him being miserable in a broken marriage before being reunited with Frank. Frank appears to be like Elle, or even an alternate version of her that is male, as Frank expresses attraction and even love for Morty. Both Elle and Frank seem to want to travel back in time to keep seeing Morty and guiding him on different journeys. They seem to do this just out of love for Morty, and even that long-haired Rick seems to have some deep appreciation for him, saying that he wasn't sure he'd ever see him again. While he says he's not the Rick to our Morty, he appears to be from the future and seems to know what happened with Elle and Frank to make the two of them travel back in time. 
Our Rick has some connection to this as well, as the Galactic Federation is after him specifically because of his entropy bomb. This is supposed to make time move backwards if it goes off, and Rick alludes to something within it trying to guide him into doing something specific. It seems clear then that the next nine episodes will be about our Rick and Morty meeting L, this time-traveling entity who is in love with Morty, and building up towards some massive event that made her fall in love with Morty and caused her to travel back in time. This would likely involve the death of our Morty, as why else would she need to travel back in time in order to be with him? As the story progresses, things will likely get increasingly crazy surrounding Elle, and I imagine she is caught up in something of a time loop that's cascaded out into these other smaller loops with each of these Morty's different lives. It's hard for me to separate exactly how many timelines we witnessed and what happened in each of them with the multiple versions of Frank and Elle, but the point we're supposed to take away from this episode is that across the real multiverse, Mortys are about to be led by real Elves and Franks, just on a slower time scale than this quick-paced virtual reality game allows. The first version we meet of L after this will seem to be in episode 3, which is titled L the Alien. I've seen some fans speculate that this episode will feature L as a regular alien who doesn't have any time traveling powers and doesn't seem to actually know Morty, but who will begin to develop a relationship with Morty, leading to the event of her eventually becoming this sort of time goddess who travels back in time in order to be with him again. Now, L's name is spelled E L L E, like the woman's name is in English. However, with the time traveling element, the word L immediately is seen as wordplay. L is one of the various terms used in the Hebrew Bible for the name of God. For those who haven't noticed it yet, the Old Testament is actually a really cool story of how a god uses his knowledge of the future to guide his people, and before them, peoples as a whole, towards what he believes is their happiest ending because he loves them. This doesn't mean some immediate happy ending in every respect, but rather, like with Morty in these different timelines, there are periods of greatness and periods of great sorrow that L and Frank are both using to show Morty the depth of who he could be, purely out of love. By doing this across the different timelines that the Rick notes are merging together, Morty will ultimately get a full view of every version of his life and become something of a time god himself like L. Frank's connection to this is the F on his mecha suit that he doesn't like to take off, something he even wears in the sauna to draw our attention to the letter F on it. The abbreviations of L and Frank or F then would seem to spell elf, linking the characters to each other through the esoteric tradition that elves are descended from the gods, or the elves, though linguistically these two words don't appear to have any real relationship. Frank or F then may really just be the opposite end of L, the male alternate version of her that completes him, but I don't think that will actually be the case. While I have some theories that I may address in a future video as well about esoterically what kind of figure Frank could be, for now I just want to address the idea that he may actually be Morty himself. If this Rick that Morty meets has long hair because he is from the future and L is also from the future, it would make sense that Frank is from the future too and could be someone we know here in the past, someone who grew up. I talked before about the idea that L only travels back in time because she had lost Morty sometime in the future, and this was the only way to be with him again. But even if she thought that future Morty had died, that doesn't make it absolutely true. She may not be aware that across the multiverse he is appearing too, perhaps nearly missing her in the dimensions she doesn't go to. It's easy to imagine Morty meeting the alien version of L who doesn't know him, and trying to solve the mystery of who she is and why she appeared in this video game before this alien version of her suddenly appears in his normal life, only to realize there are future versions of her affecting other timelines. He would realize that he is the original Morty to have met L across the entire multiverse, and through their adventures together, they set off the chain of events that lead to the entropy bomb exploding. L would think she lost lost her Morty in the explosion and throw herself in perhaps, and uses the power of the reversing timeline to go meet Morty in every alternate reality. The only one she would leave untouched is the reality of our Morty, where she needs the events to play out the same as before so the original L can meet him again and start off that chain of events. Meanwhile, that Morty would just go back in time and find the different versions of himself as well, leading these different Mortys on different journeys to see what they could be if they were led in the right way, instead of being led down the path that the Ricks so often choose to. 
But what do you think? Let me know your thoughts on the Rick and Morty anime in the comments down below. I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't into it at first, but even without an exact understanding of the different timelines, I really dig what is set up here and where it could go. But I gotta say, based on the trailer, a lot of the plots not involving Morty and L feel like they'll be a bit weird, as the L plot is really just what makes this its own thing, instead of a weird attempt at Rick and Morty in a medium that seems like it could elsewise hurt the main series. But seriously, again, let me know your thoughts because I'm really curious where everyone's head is on what's going on here and what to make of the anime. Also, consider checking out our Cartoon Universe Discord server as well if you want to talk more about cartoons like Rick and Morty, link in the pinned comment down below.